Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode. And uh, as you can see, I have not been sitting still, but also I have spending a lot of money. <laughs> I was all of a sudden just bankrupt. And I think that is because we hired a little bit more staff and stuff. I, I actually do want to look into that. I'm going to pause the game for just a little bit because I obviously want to show you guys around what I have been doing. I have been using the conservation pack, but not too much just yet. Uh, and you can see the reason just why. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go back here a little tiny bit. We had on this little corner, we had, uh, I think, a toilet building, uh, a milkshake and, and something uh, uh, to drink. Obviously, that was just temporarily. So right now, I did create a little toilet building shop. Oh, and we had ATMs. So right now, we have two toilet buildings right over here. It's hidden, of course, behind this door. And there's another toilet right over here. Hey, that is not... No, 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 there should be some... No. <laughs> there should be some barriers underneath there. I cannot buy anything. Right, okay. There should be some, some curbs and barriers underneath. Did I remove them, maybe? Okay, I, I need to look into that, but that is not <laughs> what I wanted. I do not want you to cross right over here. Anyways, these uh, conservation pack lamps, I absolutely love them. Uh, so this building is a little bit more modern, I guess. We did use a little bit here of the conservation pack and on the roof as well. I mean, we have to work with that just a little bit because we can with the conservation pack. And here on the side, we have one window and then we have some ATMs at this point. So yeah, just a little cute building. Obviously, you can download this building now also from the collection list that we have in the description down below. I will, I will first go here. We have a really... I really like it. I'm really happy with this little uh, corner right over here. I did move the uh, milkshakes and what is it? Monsieur Frit? So we now have two milkshakes, two Monsieur Frit. And then we have... Oh man, I absolutely love these picnic benches of the new pack. Also this canopy, it's just too good. Uh, I think these are definitely my most favorite now. I, I absolutely love them. I think there's also, oh no, I did not use the bench right over. I think I used the bench right over here, yes. The bench and the bin, you can obviously recolor them. I absolutely love them. I th I think that is going to be my, my newest uh, favorite picnic bench and bench and bin and canopy really think they look great but okay so we made this little modern build. i didn't want to use the grass again for this rooftop like we should not overdo it i feel i, I did add a few like fennec fox statues just for the idea like this is belonging a little bit to the uh, fennec fox area but I, I just really do like how this area Okay, there we go. <laughs> How this area looks. I, I did change the opening times of the zoo a little bit, so it's not uh, dark for too long right over here. But yeah, very cute area. You can also uh, download this building. I think I did... I am actually not really sure if it's including this area or that it's only... I think it's only this building because I think with the path and stuff, it is a little bit hard to uh, just uh, put it down yourself. There's like a little path section underneath, underneath here. You can see, yeah, the edge right over here of the path. So I also just use like this barrier underneath here to uh, close it off and put some mulch on top of it. So it's basically like a, a grid of, I think, six wide. And uh, yeah, just uh, cut it up a little bit halfway to get like this cute little area. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to the Fennec Fox right over here. So if we go down here and I actually never use this path texture, I think maybe indoors, but I, I do really like it. Like the brownish color and stuff, it just works super well. So we just have like a simple fence right over here with the African beams and just some African plants 
right over here. And just to close it off, we have a, a, a bunch of long grass or elephant grass. I will show the habitat itself soon too. You can obviously also download the habitat now from the collection list. It is very busy right over here. I might be... Where is that person talking? I really do not know where that guy is that I hear talking. Anyways, okay, so uh, maybe maybe we should just move that to the little corner. I think we should just go for that. Uh, so it's not going to become super busy in the middle of the path. So maybe just moving it to this section right over here is going to help a little bit more or a little bit better. I have one here. I did the recolor this one to a little bit darker and one over here. I mean, the gas will pass right over there and right over here. So it, it, I think it's close enough and enough, to be honest. Hopefully it is. So, right. Okay, let me just show you guys the Fennec Fox habitat. Definitely inspired by my city zoo habitat that we did, but then this one is a lot bigger. So there's a little plate right over here for them to get some food. And then right over here, they can climb up. And well, this one is a two. No, it's one. <laughs> this one is using this little uh, cave already. They have a bubble machine right over here if they want to play with the bubbles. Oh, this needs to be cleaned now. And then if we move further, we have another little cave right over here. I just find it fun to have like different height elevations here. So yeah, we, we play around a little bit with more caves. And then they also have this upper layer to walk over. I'm not really sure if they can use this as well, but they can use this as well. So it's also not like reducing their traversable area too much in this habitat. I did use a lot of plants and stuff. I think it's exactly enough if we just look. Oh, look at our money go. Oh, we have tons of money now. If we just have a look right over here, they still have like double the size that they want to uh, have regarding terrain. And there is like this, this 31 coverage, which is just perfectly fine. I, I think this is working very nicely. And uh, then if we just continue right over here, I did want to give them a little bit more natural water instead of like the ugly water pump that we had in here. And I think this is just deep enough. I'm not sure if they are able to swim, but I think this is at least... Oh yes, okay, they are able to swim. But this is at least enough for them to cool down a little bit, play in the water, but not uh, like too deep either. And I think it just looks nice to have a little water area right around here. And then we have this rock formation here with uh, some more enrichment items. And uh, like, just imagine them being uh, playing around a little bit, playing hide and seek and just running around this, <laughs> this, this rock. I'm, I don't know why. That is just something I had in my mind. And then you can go, well, they can go up right over here as well and use the top layer to uh, to play around a little bit as well. I think I'm really happy with this habitat and uh, hopefully you guys like it too. As I said, you can download this one as well now from the collection list on Steam or with the, in the description down below. And of course, they have a little ball and, and this enrichment item. I, I, I do hope it's enough for these guys. I did not do anything here, by the way. I I actually forgot a tiny little bit to give this building a little bit extra detail, but maybe we will do that in a later stage and then I will just uh, upgrade the blueprint itself or something like that. Anyways, super nice area. I'm very happy with how this is looking. And then right over here, we uh, showed in the previous episode, we have like this path from the staff area, which is not finished yet, but going underneath here to the Fennec Fox habitat. So we have a little cave right over here. We already gave it a little bit of green. And then right over here, you have a little peek towards the Fennec Fox habitat. I don't know. I just really love the viewing from here as well. And uh, yes, okay. So that staff area, let's go around here for just a little bit. I need to pause this because I have no idea how our animals are doing. So right over here is going to be the backstage area, but as you could tell in the beginning of this episode, I just was not... <laughs> I, 
I just want not having any money left to continue this building, but we're going to have a lot of uh, tools and, and crates and boxes right over here. I think we're just uh, going to make a nice storage rack or anything like that underneath here. So it's still dry from the rain and uh, probably also going to have some tools and stuff right over here. We obviously going to give these buildings some more decorations and stuff. Uh, maybe I will use some of the green on top of the roof, but I'm not entirely sure yet if I want to do that and, and how much I'm going to do that. So uh, that is going to be for a later stage. Oh, I need to fix this right over here. And then uh, on the back side is going to be a little greenhouse with, of course, some of the vegetables and stuff. And right over here is an extra little keeper's hut we have a big keeper's hut right over here and quarantine i moved and we have the veterinarian also right over here so basically we have this big staff oh wait no this is the big keeper's hut and then the big staff building is right next to it and then almost all the buildings are gone right over here now i am keeping these uh, workshops for now because I can I could tell from my comments and I was also making that mistake you guys when you have a new pack and you open franchise mode you're like wait where are all my pieces you're you're like going to content tag and then click conservation pack and then everything is just completely gone and you're like it's not working where is my stuff <laughs> But you need to research it first. And I was also, but you're like, wait, huh? What? What is going on here? But just go to your mechanic research in your menu and then make sure that they're going to unlock the conservation theme. And uh, we are also researching the Europe theme. So as soon as these two are done, I'm just going to remove these workshops and then we are fine until we get a new pack, I guess. And this staff building, I will keep for now just for these uh, employees right over here. So they can use this staff building and do not have to walk all the way to the middle. So that is why we now still have these particular buildings right over here. But obviously this is all going to be a very nice area as well. Now let's have a quick look at... Okay, we have a breed the habitat species. What do we have? We have a low welfare on this fennec fox and that is because you are stressed so i feel like you're stuck because you're you're swimming here all the time i'm not entirely sure if this is going to help you because you were just stuck that you were stressed as well but this one oh wait no not deer it's both not deer i i feel like now you can move again you might not you you can hide behind this rock. This one is also hiding behind a rock. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but we could potentially, because I think these are just glass panels, so we can just replace them for the one-sided panels that we also have at uh, the tapirs and the otters right over here. So this one is all one-sided glass as well. I actually also put, I think I forgot to mention that, but I also put like the one-sided glass inside of this building so there there should be a lot more privacy and i did not see any issues anymore uh the last mu quality is 50 percent this one should be pregnant so due to december 21 that is because i have my animal settings right now on i think it is where is it animal settings I think it's on five. So let's put it on two. And now it will be April year 20. We still have some otters in here. I think. I don't know how many. Oh, this one is actually working now again. I'm really happy with that. Uh, so we have some otters right over here. We have this one. Oh, wait. Are you the baby? Yes, you are. Oh, you're hungry. I do really hope. I think all the work rosters are working properly i do want to change the grade to grade three and i want to do the same for malaysian tape here so oh that one is actually still one let's make that three especially for are oh, you playing with our little bogs 
especially for herbivores, it is a lot cheaper um, to, or like it's doable to give them. Oh, you're so, <laughs> you're so adorable. It's a lot cheaper to to give them the grade three, like like tigers and stuff becomes a bigger issue. Now, I actually was curious. Num num. I was actually curious to see if there's anything we can, uh, like, save some money on. I'm going to pause it for just a bit. Ongoing expenses, like the staff wages, is pretty high. And that is definitely because we have hired a lot of staff the last time. But as you can see, there is also a lot of staff with a pretty low workload. So I may have gone a little bit too far. They're really happy. This one is not happy at all. This is an educator with a very high workload, which is odd. Why are these two? They're all in the same roster. Happiness. The happiness of all other staff is pretty... Okay, I think we should do something with energy against being overworked. Is there something with energy? Let's go for this one for now and see how that will go. I'm just going to fire one. Did I already fire one? No, I don't think so. Okay, no, this one is now fired. I think we do not need so many security guards talking about security. I did add, I'm not really sure if it's really needed, but I did add, yeah, I did not do anything yet with the uh, rhinos here. I did add some security cameras. So we have run right over here now. I, I think this might be good. It's still super busy here. I'm still have, oh my goodness. What are you doing? <gasps> Oh, okay, so with um, with cups, this is not really the best way. <gasps> Where are you going? Oh my gosh, you're just walking all over here. But it looks like you're not able to escape, but this is definitely something we do not want. This is bad. This is just, just very, very bad. Anyways, I do really hope that in the future, if we have some more things around here that it's going to make sure that gas will just walk through here but we have to wait and see it's uh, it's bad <laughs> but they also had three cups so obviously everyone wants to see them i did add a an education sign here and an education sign here i'm not entirely sure if this might be causing more issues we will see about that uh, we have one right over here, and there's a speaker underneath here. There is no interest at all here in, 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 in these educational talks, which is pretty odd. But maybe we should just not have them everywhere. Oh yeah, so we have another security camera right over here. And also one in here, I think. Yes, there is one right over here. Like, I thought, I think these are the only three. But I think these are perfect spots to add some security cameras and hopefully it helps a little bit with uh, gas vandalizing or, or pickpockets and stuff. Oh, that's right. I did add another forge box feeder. I did add it right here. Look, in this corner. I think this is a really nice spot for it. And like... It, it's 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 reachable for the staff so i feel like this actually is a perfect spot for it i like this i like this so we now have two and i think the grade it was on three i think we already changed that yes it's grade three that's perfect we have four little ones in here we actually have maybe maybe we have a few of the females that grew up we might want to look, look into that very soon to see if we can uh, maybe put some females up for adoption. I, I want to think about how we should be working on that. Uh, we have education increase in Malaysian Tabor education rating with 8%. Claim reward 500. That's not that much, but I can live with that. We have uh, $24,000, oh, $25,000 right now. 
And you guys voted, of course. You guys voted on the community wall because, of course, we need to add a, a, a conservation pack animal in the zoo. It's going to be the Shervalsky's horse, and I already did buy it because I was a little bit worried uh, about any adoption issues with um, uh, with the pack launching and stuff. Uh, I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to get... I, I got this one from the La, La Riquina Zoo or something like that, and the rest is from Frontier Zoo. You can see that right over here. So we have three females and one male. And of course, I was thinking to create some kind of... Wait, is there an education? Oh, yes, it's it's doing its talk here. Grr. I like that. I like that. It's like this gel was made for me. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. That's really cute. Uh, you know what? Uh, talking about our staff, let's just make sure that we just select all of them. Wait, manage staff. 24, can I not do anything because one is fired? Why are you still here, by the way? I'm just going to train them all. 3,000, yes, let's go and do that. Why are you... Oh, you're almost gone. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not happy that I fired him. Uh, what do we have right over here? Low welfare, uh, stress... Yes, okay. No, I feel like we should just fix that by just replacing this glass with one side of the glass. This one is actually stuck at exactly the same spot right over here. So maybe I need to work on that as well and just make sure to fix that because I feel like you might... Might be bugs or anything like that at exactly this spot. So we need to fix that, but that, that's gonna be alright. But yeah, Shrivalski's horse, and I was thinking, it is an Asian animal. So I was thinking to just make a little, like, the, they are obviously not exactly from the tropical biome. So if I just go to Shrivalski's horse, then we can see right over here that, but they can pretty much survive in this tropical biome. We might want to add a few coolers just in case like it's 42 degrees so they would not like that too much but we can manage we can have like a beautiful area here with a lot of like the new flowers and stuff from the conservation pack so i think that's only going to be super beautiful in this biome but we're obviously going to play around a little bit with like creating some kind of stables or something like that or like a barn uh i think something like that would be very cool for these animals. So uh, yeah, I, I think without further talking, we should just go and start working on uh, their habitat to add the uh, Shrivalski's horse.
No, seriously, from this angle, the flowers just look absolutely beautiful. I think with these horses, which look freaking amazing, I, I think this definitely is going to work. So we have this big barn right over here, which you can pretty much download already and just uh, see how you want to use it. I did put some coolers underneath the floor here because of the uh, Shabalski's horse not liking like the uh, over 40, uh, for 38, I think 38 was the max. Yes, 38 is the max. So I did put some coolers around here. I obviously still need to work on this like a lot. I'm not really sure if all of these flowers are going to stay, but I just really wanted to play around a little bit with it and see how it looks if you would use like a lot of the grass. I like it. I'm not really sure if it matches with like the barn and stuff. I might want to make this like a little bit less official. Obviously, we're going to, I'm probably going to add like some white fences around here or something like that. But we could absolutely just make this a little bit bigger, a little bit more playful and stuff in a later stage, something like that. And I think when it will be a little bit more playful, I think it would match a bit more to have this more overgrown grass and stuff. But I'm not entirely sure yet. This is definitely also just to see how this all looks because I feel like it's, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> But it's, I think it looks pretty cool. So they have like this barn right over here where they can walk through and then also go to this side here as well. And uh, obviously we need to add some stuff right over here too. Uh, like maybe, maybe a tree here and there. And uh, also I really want to see if we can maybe make some kind of uh, educational area, maybe a talking point. Or something like that right over here and also have like this um, like a little area where maybe the guest could like feed the horses under supervision with like a keep or anything like that maybe something like that but for now I just uh, put down a few uh, donation boxes uh, some benches and some bins just so that we can get this going you know what I actually forgot I did forget to add an educational sign. It's all temporarily because we are definitely going to be working more on this area. Maybe, maybe this is just a nice spot and then Shabalski's horse. And then we're gonna add one speaker in this area and maybe just make it like a pretty big coverage. So wait, if I now look on the outside, yeah, maybe something like that. But yes, I, I like this barn. Obviously, uh, I took some inspiration online to uh, for the shape and how to do like these barn doors and stuff. It's probably not perfect, but it's my very first barn I'm ever building in Planet Zoo, and I actually do quite like it. I'm I'm very happy with it. And then we have these barn doors right over here as well, of course, for the horses to be able to go inside and and outside of the barn. I like it. I like it. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to do around here, but I think that is going to be fine. So here on the back, we have some staff buildings and some electricity for now. There probably will be some kind of facility or, or like staff area right over here. I think this is a little bit too far away. So once this one is done, this one is, is nice for all these habitats around here, maybe also a little bit around here, but this becomes a little bit too far away. So I think we need to build something uh, like uh, more like a staff facility area as well. Uh, we're going to have some offspring here. How are our flamingos doing? There are so many right now. But we still have the contraceptives in here, right? Like a lot of the flamingos, like there are no flamingos here. So that is why it feels very busy in this little corner. So I, I think they are fine. If we look at like, okay, the heart shelter is not, it's, it's a bit of an issue. A little bit of an issue with the water. The land is pretty big still. So maybe we should just reduce the land just a tiny little tad we could work on that 
Oh, that's right. We have this animal talking. But oh no, we have one here. But this one is just walking around and telling the people about the flamingos, which is actually really cool. Right. Okay. So what do we have here? Thinking of quitting, Mr. Winter. What are you thinking? Where are you? Wait, where are you? Oh, I don't know. Are you stuck? Waiting to start an animal talk. You know, I think you are stuck and I cannot move you. Uh, how about if I just... Oh, oh, the poor guy. The poor guy, there was no animal talk. And this one should be starting in December. If I now delete this... Okay, you are free to go now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. And I was wondering, like, why are you not doing anything? There are no guests around here, like nothing. Poor guy, poor young. I feel so sorry about that. Like, for real, I'm so sorry about that. Right, okay, um, quickly before we end, because this episode is becoming way too long. You guys have no idea. Oh gosh, they're still stuck here. I really need to make a, a workaround here because this is, this is no fun. But these episodes, like, I'm doing so much off camera as well. Like, uh, these, these episodes take me around, I think, 12 hours or so. Like, I'm not overreacting. It's, it's so much fun. But it's all taking so much time to get everything that I want you done. Uh, I feel really sad that this is not working properly how I, I was hoping it would work. Maybe I should just make it like just low enough for them to drink, but just not that they are able to swim here. Maybe we should use like that terrace. What, what is that option called again? Flatten to terrace. Maybe I should do that so they are not able to swim. But they now have one sided glass here. And I also did put like some ambient speakers in here with, I think it's desert by night or something like that. Uh, so they should not be having any issues. Ah, that's cute. They're all grown up, by the way. But they should not be having any issues anymore with stress. At least, uh, not, no. I, I, so, yeah, I think, I think we, can, uh, we can fix that with the water and then it should hopefully be alright. I think, actually, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, like, for real. I think so far we are doing a really nice job. I am actually really surprised so far how amazingly you can detail while you are working on your franchise mode series. It's actually a lot of fun because we're spending a lot of money so it feels a little bit more balanced out in comparison to just putting down uh, like a simple habitat like this with not that many details. And I remember, like, at some point, you just have, like, 100, 200, 300,000 dollars, and you're like, oh, we are so rich, you know? And, like, balancing this out with more detailing, building a new habitat, detailing, building a new habitat, and, and, and adding more and more details and, and, and stuff, it, it really feels like it's, it's, it's balancing out a lot better than I actually thought. So I'm really happy with that. This is definitely also a habitat that we need to work on. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's so much I still want to do, but so little time. So I do really hope uh, that you guys are enjoying this series still as much as I do. And uh, thank you so much uh, for voting, of course, on the community wall. Oh man, they're so beautiful. I love this animation, by the way. I'm not really sure if the, the, the zebras have the same. I'm really having so much fun. And uh, the, the next animal, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to add another animal in the next episode because I really want to try to uh, to finish things up so we can catch up and do like one episode with all the detailing instead of like me doing a lot off camera. But I also really, really, really want to add the Siamangs. I mean, the Siamangs are just freaking perfect in this biome and in this zoo, I think. And I just, 
absolutely love the noises that they make. So I, if it's not the next episode, it's gonna be the episode after that. Where are you guys going? <laughs> so yeah, I, I really, really want to add some Simangs in this zoo as well. So hopefully you guys like that. Do let me know in the comments down below, of course. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.